How's it going guys? Alex with iTech Triad and in this video we're going to be unboxing the Amazon Fire TV. So a huge thanks to Amazon for sending this out to iTech Triad so that we can unbox it and review it here on the channel. If you want to check out our review it should hopefully be up within the next week or two as we've already spent a good amount of time with the Fire TV. Again be sure to subscribe to our channel uh, down below. Hit that subscribe button and you'll be informed as soon as that review video goes up. But anyway, let's focus in now on the unboxing of the Fire TV. And I'm just going to go uh, briefly through some specs, not too deep into the specs. But uh, anyway, as it comes to processor, we have a quad-core processor with this, 2 gigs of RAM. We also have an 8 gigabyte internal storage. As it comes to output resolution, we have 720p and 1080p and up to 60 frames per second. Now upon unboxing the Fire TV, there we have it just very nicely sitting there. We'll just remove that off to the side. On a quick side note, uh, an HDMI cable is not included. I'm just stating this ahead of time. HDMI cable is not included with the Fire TV, so you're going to want to either, again, pick one up from Amazon or look for one extra around the house. But just know you want to have one ready before you have this in hand. There we had the instruction manual for so those of us who need it. It's there for those of us who don't. It's just, again, they're taking up space. And here we have that voice-controlled remote, which makes this Fire TV so special. Going more into the box, we have two batteries. Thank you, Amazon, for including this for our controller. And we also have our power adapter uh, for our Fire TV. So what we need basically is there except for that HDMI cable. So kind of make a side note of that if you need to pick one up. Now here we're going to take the Fire TV out of the plastic and I just kind of want to state a first impression on the design or hardware side of the Fire TV. Now I'm the type of person I really appreciate nicely designed hardware whether it's on a phone, a tablet or on the Amazon Fire TV. Now this has a very simple but minimal design to it. It's got a nice matte finish to it and it just looks it looks plain but to me it just looks great you put it on a home theater it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb it's just very simple but nicely designed and same thing goes for our remote it's not just some cheap piece of plastic for example like I have my Roku remote and it's just you can tell just very cheap plastic it didn't feel very nice this has again that kind of really nice matte finish to it it just felt really great in the hands of course we'll have more info on uh, both the Fire TV and the remote in our full review so be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that but nonetheless it's just something that kind of stuck out to me and I just wanted to mention it briefly now if you want to purchase the Amazon Fire TV you can get it for $99 of course through Amazon I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can head on over and check it out and pick one up if you want to anyway again a huge thanks to Amazon for sending this out our review video will be up soon so be sure to stay tuned for that uh, we'll be going more into the Fire TV and suggesting whether we think you should pick it up or not. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching our unboxing video. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below. What's your thoughts on the Fire TV? Will you be picking one up? Or do you feel that you're content with your Roku box, your, Chrome, uh, your Chromecast, or your Apple TV? Comment below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.